Thank you. I'm going to go ahead and uh, ask questions, and then I'll yield to the ranking member. Um, my first question, I, maybe it would be most appropriate for uh, you, uh, Assistant Secretary, or Ms. Wiesner, um, but according to the information the administration released last Friday, individuals residing in the U.S. will be able to petition for refugee status for their children and their spouses living in Central America. This is therefore a family reunification program, presumably the uh, priority three, uh, P3 category. Uh, under H, excuse me, 8 CFR section 207, a principal refugee admitted to the United States may request follow to join benefits for his or her spouse and or unmarried children under the age of 21 if the family has become separated. My question is this, are the family members living in the U.S. who will petition for these children refugees? Are, are they refugees? And if they have, if they are, have they been deemed as such? Have they been deemed refugees? If not, under what authority are the non-refugees living in the United States under a whole host of statuses allowed to petition refugee status for their family member? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And I'm, I am going to turn to, to Das Wiesner, who is much more expert in this, um, because I do think that this is not, in fact, the, the standard uh, program that you are describing. It is something quite different, um, and it is not — it is designed to focus on the children in country um, who are obviously the ones that we are trying to get out of such a difficult circumstance in the three Northern Triangle countries without having them attempt this very dangerous journey and try and enter the country uh, in the uh, undocumented status as they did last year. Catherine. Sure. So to try to answer your question, and please follow up if I miss part of it, but you asked if this is part of the P3 program. It's not exactly the P3 program. That's based on people who are out of their country of origin already as refugees. Um, you asked if the parents themselves in the United States would be considered refugees under this program. They are not. They are considered under the statuses under which they are here. So they are either here as lawful permanent residents or the uh, additional six statuses that are eligible to apply. So the refugee claim is um, a claim of the child themselves, the child facing a risk of persecution, a well-founded — either they have experienced persecution or they have a well-founded fear of persecution in their home country on one of the five protected grounds. The five protected grounds are their race, their religion, their uh, nationality, their political opinion, or their membership in a particular social group. So the maybe another way to put it is that the eligibility to um, petition in this program is, is one um, category, and those are the parents and their status is here in the United States. But in order to be granted refugee status, the child themselves has to show that they are eligible for that status. So it is not the P3 program? It is not the P3 program. If a minor or spouse is not granted refugee status, they will be considered for parole. What kind of visa will they then be entering the United States with, and how will we be able to ensure that they don't overstay if their two-year renewal is not approved? Uh, and then, finally, the administration noticed the parolees would be able to attend school. Will a minor be allowed to attend a public university once he or she becomes of age? Will they qualify for Federal grants and State aid? And what is the real difference between a refugee and a parolee who can potentially apply for DACA if his parole status is not renewed? So I can definitely talk about some of the differences between the um, assistance offered to refugees who, re who are resettled and what is available to parolees. But for details on the parole program, I will have to refer refer you to the Department of Homeland Security who administers the parole program. So when a refugee comes to the United States under our resettlement program, they are eligible for a range of benefits, which include a resettlement and placement grant that is administered from the State Department through our resettlement agencies. And then they are also eligible for, for follow-on refugee benefits from Health and Human Services. And it includes things like assistance enrolling in school when they become of age. If they are of age, then assistance getting jobs and housing. These will be children joining parents, so we assume that their parents already have housing and jobs. So it is really more about getting them into school as refugees. Um, as well, uh, 
there's no cost to apply to the program in either case. And but if you come as a refugee, your medical check is free, and you will um, get a loan to be to take the flight to the United States, which you then have to repay, repay back later. Parolees, um, it's a temporary. Sorry, one of the more important aspects of refugee resettlement is that it is a path to legal permanent status and to citizenship. Um, and that's one of the main differences with parolees. That's a temporary status. As you noted, it often usually lasts for two years and you have to apply for renewal. Um, there are None of the benefits that I just mentioned for uh, resettlement are available to parolees either. In fact, if you are not eligible for refugee status and are considered for parole, then your family has to submit an affidavit of support, which shows that they are able to support you here in the United States. And if it's not the P3 program, what is it? What's it what program is it's it? It's called in-country refugee processing, which is uh, allowed. I mean, it's it's um, uh, accounted for in the in the law. Um, the both refugee status and parole discretion are in the Immigration and Nationality Act. Do you, do you know what law it's under? Just so we can reference we do, it. Do Do you have it for the in-country? No. What? Yeah, we can get the specific okay, citation. That's fine. Yeah. I recognize the ranking member. 